एंड द फेडिंग पुच्छल तारा अरे क्या बात कर रहे हो पुच्छल पुच्छल तारा को अंग्रेजी में क्या कहते हैं विवान साहब क्या कहते हैं पुच्छल तारा शूटिंग स्टार शूटिंग शूटिंग स्टार ना तो वो पुच्छल तारा होता था वो मतलब वो पूछ पे उसकी पूछ पे उसको ये नाम दिया गया था because अच्छा। it had that so when it'll vanish it'll seem like it had a tail to puchhal tara tha ab boliye srijita ji hindi hindi kahani ka interview aap angrezi mein le rahi hain bataiye bataiye the problem wo hai mera mother tongue hindi nahi hai to main hindi mein kaise are aap too much in hindi aapko kuch samajh mein nahi aayega <laughs> it's a very privileged life let me tell you an actor's life is very privileged life there's so many people to help you there's so many helps available to you uh it's just mehnat to bas aapki hai ki aap apna dimag tikane pe rakhe baaki sab cheeze ho hi jati hai yaar so a privileged person a person who is a second generation person must never forget that they are blessed and they are fortunate and they are lucky and they must never get defensive you know because a lot of people get very defensive yeah. when you remind them of their privilege they start to get very defensive i i don't like that i don't think people should do that i think people should be conscious of their privilege and it's very easy to comment and opinionate about ki mujhe lagta hai ki aisa hua isliye aisa hua mujhe nahi lagta hai yaar main jhoot kyon bolu main kyon bolu jhoot This is Shrijita Sen from News 18 Shosha, and today we have with us Vinay Patak and Vivan Shah, who will be talking to us about the recent dramatic readings for the Z Theatre anthology Koi Baat Chale. So let's welcome Vinay and uh, Vivan, and let's hear all about it from them. Hello, welcome, Namaskar once again. Namaskar. 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 <laughs> So uh, yeah, uh, your uh, both of your readings are based on Munshi Premchand's classic tales. Tales. So tell us about it. In yes, general, so the, uh, I can uh, tell you that it's a uh, uh, it's a story dramatic reading series which we're calling KBC, uh, but it's a different kind of KBC. It's it's called कोई बात चले not कौन बनेगा करोड़पति. So you have to specify it to your audiences. that it's a, it's a kbc of another kind another brought kind. to you by the the new star in the horizon vivan shah <laughs> and <laughs> and the uh, and the fading puchhal tara are kya baat kar rahe ho puchhal 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 tara ko angrezi mein kya kehte hain vivan sahab kya kehte hain puchhal tara shooting star shooting star shooting star, shooting star. na to wo ha ah, ah. उछल तारा होता था वो मतलब वो पूछ पे उसकी पूछ पे उसको ये नाम दिया गया था बिकॉज इट हैड दैट सो व्हेन इट 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 विल सीम लाइक हैड अ टेल तो पुच्छल तारा था अब बोलिए श्रीजिता जी हिंदी हिंदी कहानी का इंटरव्यू आप अंग्रेजी में ले रही हैं बताइए बताइए प्रॉब्लम वो है मेरा मदर टंग हिंदी नहीं है तो मैं हिंदी में अरे आप तो मुझे हिंदी आपको कुछ समझ में नहीं आएगा आप आपका मदर टंग आपका मदर टंग जो है वो हिंदी नहीं है लेकिन आपने कैसे मुझे बोल दिया कि आपका मदर टंग हिंदी नहीं है हिंदी में ही बोला ना हमें एक्सेंट से कोई परेशानी नहीं है ठीक है फिर मैं हिंदी में ही बात करने का कोशिश करूंगी पर कोई हंसेगा नहीं मेरे ऊपर How beautiful this is, yeah. <laughs> Kyun hai sega koi? This is so lovely, so so lovely. Thank. So, uh, ha, to uh, ap jo kahaniyon pe kar rahe hain ap dramatic readings. Uh, if you can tell us about those in <coughs> brief. Main ek Princhan ji ki kahani hai Idga. Uh, wo Hamid ke uh, uh, Eid ke din masjid jaane aur wahan se wapas aane ki kahani hai. Ek din ki kahani hai. लेकिन वो उस कहानी में बहुत रंग हैं हर रस हैं और सारा कुछ है इमोशन है ड्रामा है ट्रेजिडी है कल्बिनेशन है इट्स हैप्पी एंडिंग है आप किसी कहानी में कितने आयाम हो सकते हैं वो अगर आप सोचें और ईदगाह पढ़ें तो पता लगे कि अरे यार इसमें तो सब कुछ है ये ये सचिन तेंदुलकर भी है युवराज सिंह भी है और ये विकेट कीपिंग भी कर लेता है और वो बाउंड्री पे भी फील्डिंग कर लेता है और ये मतलब बहुत ही कमाल है 
स्पिनर भी है और ऑफ स्पिन भी डालता है लेग स्पिनर भी है और सीमर भी है और मतलब क्या है ये क्या है ये कहानी इस कहानी में इतनी चीजें इतनी छोटी कहानी कैसे आ सकती तो वहीं पे जादूगरी है प्रेमचंद साहब की उन्होंने वो कहावत है गागर में सागर भरना ये भी हिंदी की कहावत है ये एक छोटे से गागर में आपने पूरा सागर भर दिया तो ये प्रेमचंद की खासियत रही है कि अपनी कहानियों में वो गागर में सागर भर दिया करते थे ये उसका एक छोटा सा नमूना है ईदगाह और गिल्ली डंडा ओ एक तो और वो रिश्तों की कहानियां कहती है उसके बारे में आपको विवान साहब बताएंगे क्योंकि वो उससे जुड़े हुए हैं बहुत करीबी तरीके से बहुत बहुत ही दोनों ईदगाह और गुल्ली डंडा आई थिंक इन दोनों को वो बहुत ही एक स्पेसिफिक कल्चर्स को कैप्चर करती है जो खास करके जो स्मॉल टाउन लाइफ होती है या एक 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 पर्टिकुलर काइंड ऑफ जो एक मूड है जो प्रेमचंद जी ने क्रिएट किया है अपने शब्दों के साथ और ऑल्सो अपने किरदारों और सेटिंग के साथ जो एक पूरा जैसे जैसे विनय भाई ने कहा कि एक मतलब एक एक नदी में एक पूरा एक पूरी एक पूरा सागर ओशन है उसमें जैसे एक इतना सारा इतना सारा इतनी सी चीज में भर भर डाले हैं उन्होंने तो तो वो बहुत ही वो कमाल की चीज है बिकॉज इट इट इवोक्स अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स फ्रॉम नॉट ओनली नॉट ओनली फ्रॉम पार्ट ऑफ आर कंट्री बट ऑल्सो फॉर द व्यूअर इट मे इवोक अ लॉट ऑफ मेमोरीज चाइल्ड हुड मेमोरीज इट मे इवोक अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स दैट दे हैव एक्सपीरियंस देम इन देयर लाइफ and i think that's one of the greatest things that a writer can achieve is to illuminate something for the person who is experiencing their work which reminds them of something from their own life or i think in dono kahaniyon mein uh, ye qualities hain aur ye khas uh, gulli danda mein sabse kamal ki cheez ye hai ki it deals in a very i think in a very mature and tender and also profound way with the caste system it deals with a very heavy subject and a very disturbing subject it deals with that in a very very compassionate a very humane and a fundamentally kind way there's a fundamental kindness to premchand stories to all of his works you know there's always a fundamental kindness to it although there's sometimes a mischievous sense of humor but there's always the heart you can really feel the heart throughout all of premchand stories you know there's 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 a fundamental humanity in all of his stories a kindness which is which is very rare in a lot it's it's a it's a very rare sensibility and it's it's something that uh, both the stories ivga and gulli danda are very emotionally affecting they're very moving stories you know and i have a feeling that they will really affect the viewers in a very emotional sort of way right so in uh, today's time is it uh, easy or difficult for you to balance your career between screen acting and theater as stage acting theater and films okay it's uh, vivan sahab pehle aap le ye sawal pehle aap lijiye sir aap aapka kya kehna hai is is pe kyunki this is a very interesting question this is a very interesting question it's a it's a, it's a choice you make yeah uh, balance you're not a juggler you also not a circus artist ki you know you have a you have a right yeah. juggling skill to you know you you just make a choice you make a schedule you know ki theek hai itne baje se itne baje tak main nashta karunga iske baad main thoda break lunga iske baad hum lunch karenge lunch ke baad thoda break karke hum chai piyenge hai thi aur uske baad aaj dinner nahi karenge kyunki humne bahut lunch aur breakfast kar liya hai so if you get my drift it's uh, yeah. it's not rocket science it's not rocket science it's not brain surgery that we sit and you know and are i have to sit and no I'm, it's it's a very privileged life let me tell you an actor's life is very privileged life there's so many people to help you there's so many helps available to you uh it's just mehnat to bas aapki hai ki aap अपना दिमाग टिकाने पर रखें बाकी सब चीजें हो ही जाती हैं यार या नो ये बहुत ही आपने एक बहुत ही प्रोफाउंड क्वेश्चन पूछा है बिकॉज़ दिस इज़ समथिंग यू नो इट्स समथिंग दैट इट्स समथिंग दैट ऑल ऑफ अस द सॉर्ट ऑफ नॉट बैटल विद बट बट इट्स अ इट्स अ क्वेश्चन दैट ऑल ऑफ अस हैव 
somehow wrestled with in our own minds and hearts because uh, unfortunately a lot of actors after achieving success in films they turn their back to the theater and i think that is very sad and literally you can name on your fingertips the actors like vinay bhai seema ji manoj ji my parents you can name on your fingertips who are the actors who after getting success in films still continue to do theater there's very few of them i just right. named and if you can think of any more please add because i'm not being able to think of more names than the names that i've mentioned they are uh, very few a lot of them turn their back on the parish ji but he does a very different kind of theater uh, but there's very few it's very sad you know it saddens my parents also it's something that bothers my dad a lot is there a lot of people who started off in the theater and who who the theater was their training ground it was their buniyad now after becoming uh, successful in movies they they too busy making money they don't have time to do plays and that's very sad you know that's i think that's a very uh, that's a very sad thing it bothers my parents and it bothers me as well i hope that that changes with the younger generation because i see that in the younger generation that's they are managing a little bit to balance i hope hmm. they, i hope, I'm, i don't i'm speaking too soon maybe because even they might just get too caught up in trying to make money and and they also might get sort of uh, swayed by that but i do hope that uh, people do don't turn their back on the theater after getting success in films you know it's not it should not be like that i really hope that right that's an interesting point you raised that people turn their back on theaters after finding success in films so you're exactly. talking of theater uh, with the uh, rise and popularity of ott and also the cinema halls running like before do people still come to see plays also considering how short uh, audiences attention span has become now yes they people definitely come and see plays because it's the last uh, sort of uh, frontier of you know like for instance it's 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 almost like the way people go to see a live concert it's it's right. it's it's, a, it's one of the few mediums where there is a exchange of energies between artist uh, artist and audience it's one of the few remaining frontiers of that kind of thing because uh, as we all know the people are not going to the cinema halls that much so people are accessing their stuff in a very different kind of way at home so theater is genuinely the great thing about theater is that it's a reason for people to leave the house that's the wonderful aspect of theater uh, vinesh i remember reading it somewhere apne shayad uh, jharkhand literature meet mein aisa kuch bola tha that in the past several years ott or big screen have uh, failed to come up with great content if i am remembering it correctly so uh, keeping in mind uh, the line up of 2023 films say uh, asman bhardwaj ka kutte or he's making his debut with that or say shahrukh khan's pathan his comeback film do you think that uh, this year we might get to see good films or that might change i hope so <laughs> it's it's all i can say i hope so but uh, i i maintain i mean in the last whatever many years name five great script or great films i would fail i mean you know enough said but yeah i you know as vivan said earlier we are hopeful bunch So we always hope that things would change, and I hope so. Fingers crossed. Also, the last year has also been very tough for especially Hindi film industry. So, uh, according to both of you, what do you guys think might be the reason that Hindi films are failing to pull audience to the theaters? That's a rocket science question. <laughs> You'll have to ask. <laughs> You have to ask Arya Bhatt. Exactly. Look, look at me. Do I look like somebody who know an answer to that? Ah, ah so how do I know? Yeah. How do I know? Just obs, just an observation. मतलब मुझे वो वैसे mathematical analytical answer चाहिए. Just an observation. I, 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 I can say perhaps your observation is right. I, I really, I really don't know. and it's very easy to comment and opinionate about ki mujhe lagta hai ki aisa hua isliye aisa hua mujhe nahi lagta hai yaar main jhoot kyon bolu main kyon bolu jhoot it's a got okay so again got to do a little bit with what i said earlier about people finding a reason to leave the house that's the biggest problem is that the internet the internet age everything is available at our fingertips hmm. so people uh, i guess need are supposed to be incentivized to leave the house which is sad and also i really feel uh, this is just my personal opinion i just feel that pvr needs to restrategize because they 
they made the movie going experience into this fancy 500 rupee thing you know and whereas the cinema was the working man's art form it was always the working man's art form it was always something you could go to the galaxy 50 bucks take the whole family have a great time have a popcorn samosa have a lovely time now they made it into this fancy bloody thing yeah like now you going out to the movies people need to spend a uh, five, five grand doing that you know if they taking the whole family to the movies Correct. so they have outpriced the common man out of the theater and i think pvr is responsible for this and they must be strategized they must make the cinema more accessible to normal people not just rich people so that that's an interesting point because every time we go to the theaters we are like are popcorn khareede ya nahi khareede and then we realize it's we have come to watch a film it's not about the popcorn or where we are watching so no, yeah i'm just saying the totally price of the price point. of everything has become too much the cinema going experience yeah. has become this fancy boutique thing it's never it was never that i grew up watching films in rusty cinema halls broken down chairs it doesn't matter it does not have to be like a you know a very fancy kind of situation and pvr unfortunately has made it into that so i hope that they they make it a little more accessible and a little less expensive that's what i hope for correct i completely agree with you on this point i hope they, i hope they do something after this interview comes out i really hope <laughs> So, uh, Vivan, uh, in uh, one of your earlier interviews, you also mentioned that you are very much aware of how privileged you are. So, you have always yeah. spoken about that, that you are aware of this, and that's a really uh, brave thing to admit as well. But do you also feel that uh, does it always give you an upper hand? I don't look at it in those terms. It's not about always giving you an upper hand. You must be conscious. It must be, you know, the great. Uh, Sorry to get a little philosophical here, but the great uh, philosopher John Paul Sartre said a very interesting thing, which I never forget. He said, "You are what you are not." So, in other words, I am not a person from a marginalized community. I am not someone who has to fend for their three square meals a day. I am not someone who does not have a roof over their head. I am not someone who who has. who has to go through all the difficulties that most people go through so i must never forget this mm. i must never forget this and that's a very important thing i think that's it affects a person's consciousness and uh, and and uh, you know nowadays people talk a lot about consciousness and that sort of thing but uh, satra again spoke about mm. consciousness from a socio economic perspective and that's a very important thing for a person like me to realize and to always understand and never to forget that uh, one must always be conscious one must always uh, one must one must always look at the world through that lens you know is that is that of being aware and conscious of one's own predicament and the predicament of others because as an actor also and as a human being our job is to inhabit other people's lives so if you one must empathize and put learn to put oneself in somebody else's shoes and that's one of the most uh, important aspects of of being an actor and of being a human being in this context a privileged human being must never forget that that's what i feel right and having said that do you is there uh, still any uh, pressure on you because of the uh, because of your parents or the family you no, come from there's no pressure there's no pressure it's not like that there's doesn't work like that there's no pressure i mean if there is a pressure it's a healthy pressure it will motivate me to work harder and to make them proud so it's it's a positive pressure but but no i as i said you know a, a privileged person a person who is a second generation person must never forget that they are blessed and they are fortunate and they are lucky and they must never get defensive you know because a lot of people get very defensive when you remind them of their privilege they start to get very defensive i i don't like that i don't think people should do that i think people should be conscious of their privilege right and uh, venessa coming back to you you are also very remarkable for your uh, small screen roles for your television comedy roles so do you miss doing uh, those kind of television shows now i i guess <laughs> it's um i i guess i i don't know what your question is in telling me to answer do i miss doing television shows i i didn't do many i i did very few there was a sketch comedy show that i was a part of which was great fun uh and yeah that's that i do i want to do them again It depends maybe not uh do i miss those television days so uh, not really i have also grown television has also grown and we uh-huh. both have grown and moved forward uh 
it's uh, it's been a it's been a good divorce that way we 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 both respected each other and we have moved forward and it's it's nice i'm not complaining wow so okay, that uh, brings me to my last question for both of you uh, apart from this anthology series what are your upcoming uh, works when is i would like to start with you kuch filme hain jo abhi abhi khatam kiye maine wo jab post ke baad unka promotion shuru hoga to i'm sure you will be contacted to do interview like this again yes to hain aisi do do teen cheeze hain aur theater to hum karte rehte hain uh, every now and then to bhi chal raha hai तो एक हमने एक वेब सीरीज की थी वूट के लिए जो बहुत ही मजेदार और बहुत ही इंटरेस्टिंग वेब सीरीज है इट्स अबाउट डॉक्टर्स इट्स अ वेरी एंड इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सब्जेक्ट मैटर आई थिंक स्पेशली आफ्टर द लास्ट टू थ्री इयर्स व्हाट द वर्ल्ड इज गॉन थ्रू सो इट्स इट्स शॉर्ट ऑफ लाइक अलॉन्ग द लाइन्स ऑफ ग्रेज एनाटमी दैट काइंड ऑफ थिंग इट्स 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 अबाउट इट्स अबाउट अ सीरीज ऑफ ऑफ डॉक्टर्स सर्जिकल रेजिडेंट्स एंड हॉस्पिटल इट्स स्टोरी ऑफ is one it's a very beautiful very very beautiful show and i can't wait for you all to watch that it's going to be really really amazing interesting very well made bahut hi kamal se pyar se banaya hai i really hope nice. you all ek wo hai that my father just recently made a short film after a long time so that's also uh, really something that well we made it i acted in it my mother also acted in it so that's also going to be coming out soon to ye do cheeze and koi baat chale these three things are that's nice you and your mom will be sharing a screen uh, for a film your father has done that's really nice yes, i hope yes, i get yes. to talk to both of you when all these films yes, and series yes. are coming out absolutely yeah we hope so too we hope so too and by i hope by that time my hindi yes, improves yes. as well huh? yeah your hindi was fine yeah you only being shy and going back to <laughs> your mother mother tongue or, or you, you no no you guys can learn bengali my mother tongue yeah yeah, yeah we could do that also bilkul yeah. bilkul okay that so uh, so fun talking with both of you is there anything bilkul. else about uh, the series you would uh, like to add for our viewers to know but series ka to zyada nahi lekin jo cardigan aapne pehna hai bada hi khoobsurat hai isse ye pata chal raha hai ha bahut hi bahut hi acha hai isse pata chal raha hai ki aap andhra pradesh mein rehti hain हम दोनों टी शर्ट पहन के घूम रहे हैं <laughs> तो ये लग रहा है कि हम गर्म प्रदेश में रहते हैं सो थैंक यू फॉर योर फैशन थैंक यू ये मम्मी का है आई टेल हर यू लाइक इट थैंक्स लॉट अरे मम्मी का कार्डिगन पहन लिया आपने <laughs> okay. so, uh, thank you, uh, for your time. Have a nice day, guys. All the best for your upcoming projects. Thank you. Thank yes. you. Namaste. Thank you.